It had not been an easy time in Jerusalem, and things went from bad to worse by the hour. From the moment that Christ died on the cross, the earth turned dark as if the sun had gone away, and hearts became darkened as the sky. What had happened? Everyone asked themselves. This man they had crucified had worked miracles. He'd brought people back from the dead, but he didn't save himself. He was supposed to be a king and change the world forever, but he died like a criminal. What had gone wrong? This man who died on the cross was gone forever. But it never happened. Before he died, he cried, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? They had not, they had not only lost their Lord, they had lost all their hopes for the things Jesus taught them about love, eternity, and life after death. Believers had lost so much, they wondered how they could bear it. When Christ was alive, we were all members of his army, and we were so proud to be serving the Lord. This was our favorite song, and we used to sing it with pride. Jesus was our leader, and without him there is no cause, 
and nothing to strive for. Tomorrow we will go our separate ways, but we will never forget how proud we were to serve in the Lord's army. And that is how they fell on Easter Sabbath. But on Sunday morning, Saturday morning, their hearts still heavy with grief, smothering their soul, another day began. Mary Magdalene and Jesus, Mother Mary, rose early and walked to the tomb where Jesus' body had been hastily, hastily laid to rest. To their shock and confusion, the stone was covered, the tomb had been rolled away. The... It stood wide open, then they could not believe their eyes. An angel stood inside the tomb and radiated light in every direction, kind of like, kind of like lightning, and his garments were, and his garments were so white, the woman squinted at the glare. The angel smiled at the woman and said, Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified, but he is not here. He's been raised just like he said. Jesus had risen from the dead. Then he told the women to go and find the disciples and tell them that Jesus had risen. With their hearts bounding with joy, they ran to find the disciples and tell them what had happened. Suddenly a figure appeared before them and said, Peace be with you. The women were overwhelmed and took hold of his feet, knelt and worshipped him. Jesus sensed their awe and said, Don't be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee and I will meet them there. So the women raced on, knowing in their hearts that the news they carried would change the world forever. Christ had risen from the dead. Everything Jesus said was true, and no armies, kings, or leaders could change what had happened. Christ was risen from the dead. Heaven, eternal life, and the many mansions he talked about were true. Christ the Lord had risen, and his message of peace, love, and joy would live forever. We'd now like to offer a prayer to our God over the lamb's offering that we collect this morning. This is something we do specially to support Christian education within our community. So kids, if we could stand together and talk to our God. Let's put our hands together and pray. Can we stand? Stand up. Dear Jesus, on this special weekend when we celebrate your death, your sleep, and your resurrection, that amazing gift to us all, we thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name, in the name of the Father, amen. <laughs> 